Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is Leto and yesterday we have a familiar face. Mbulelo is gonna tell you more about him. Alrighty, I'm that familiar face. My name is Chad Tilda, the leader of the new old school, champion of the winning team, man of high integrity, from the highest towers of society. Yes, we have a more familiar face today, man. And his name is Leroy Gopal and he's gonna tell us more about himself. So basically, as I was googling online, there was some information that was, that was said about him and what he has done. And then I saw there was a back and forth between himself and these other, <laughs> these other people on the internet. So I was like, no, I'm not going to take this information. I will just rather get it from himself and that's himself true. so that he can just... So, Mr. LG, hey, what's happening on that? Oh, no, I'm good, I'm good, aren't you guys? Thank you so much for having me on your, on your show, should I call it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about yourself, man, where you come from, school, and what you, what you do, basically. Awesome. So, um, um, I was born and raised in Zimbabwe, um, okay. and um, I was raised in a Christian home. All right. Uh, by my mom um, and my aunt, uh, it's my sister, my older sister and myself. Okay. Um, and um, went to Christian schools. I was always like very involved in everything I was doing, and I think um, I love the fact that my mom raised us in a, in a godly manner, mm -hmm. and really based on the fact that. You know, if you teach a child uh, when they're still young in the ways of the yeah. world, they'll yeah. never depart yeah. from them. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm testament to that. Wow. I've seen that in my life. Um, I spent, I, I usually like to say, um, I was born and raised in Zimbabwe, but I grew up in South Africa. Okay. Yeah, yeah because um, I left I left them when I was 18 years old. I traveled the world for about two years. And then um, I came here to study. Mm -hmm. I graduated with uh, an honors degree in dramatic arts and directing. Wow. My goodness, I can't My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> with a whole degree. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then um, uh, initially my plan was, I think I, think I was going to study and then leave South Africa. Maybe I was going to go to New York or something. But, so you were um, fine. <laughs> yeah, I was passing through, you know. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think my, my, my girlfriend then, my wife now, changed my life. Oh, you know? wow. I think you know, somebody who um, I found worthwhile staying for. And I, oh, wow. I've been yeah. living here for wow. 20 years. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so wow. does she know that you stayed for her? Um, well, we don't usually like to say I stayed for her because that's just too much pressure. <laughs> that's just, that's just <laughs> pressure on one, you know, be like, oh my gosh. So yeah. what have we done over the last 10 years? <laughs> yeah. But um, I'd say, you know, I think, you know, I think, I think our family, our children, and, and I think everything we've, we've built together over the, the number of years that we've been together, 16 yeah. in total, wow. I think it's really, it has played quite a big role and influence in, in me settling down, so... Wow, oh, that's very beautiful. Yeah. So you mentioned that you went to a Christian school. Is yeah. that where, uh, when you got born again? Um, I was one of those people, I think, I, I, you know, I, I don't have a record date to say I was born again on the 20th of January, <laughs> 1999. <laughs> I was born again so many times because I think I was so enthusiastic about yeah. about church and about Christian things and just, yeah. just, just the life itself. Because from the time I was nine years old, I was part of like a... Um, a group called Sunshine Friends, sure. and we used to do like short skits where we'd go around schools, mm -hmm. uh, homes, um, and teach people the word through like acting and, and puppet ministry, you know? Yeah. So by the time I was 12 years old, I was a Sunday school teacher. My mm -hmm. goodness. Wow. Um, I, was, I was a teacher of the word. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. you know? Wow. By the time I was 12, and um, I, I had learned how to do puppeteering at that age as well. Yeah. Um, and so, I don't, you know, I think I was just, every time there would be like an altar call, I would go to the front and be like, man, I need to cleanse my skin. I need to stay pure. You get it right. You need to make sure you get it right. Yeah, you are so keen for the holy life. Like, wow. Every time there was an altar call, I think I've been baptized about four times. Wow. 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 Let's just do it. <laughs> okay, that that is very interesting. So you don't. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of people that have like a specific day to say yeah. this is where I was born again. And and I guess the reason why you have that is because of the feeling and everything that comes with it. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you didn't feel like it was it was enough. But I mean, there was this last one where you were like, because I'm sure in the last five years you haven't gone again to say. <laughs> 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 No, um, 
I think, um, you, you know, as, as we go, um, especially if, if you've led a life like mine, or maybe you raised the way I was raised, yeah, yeah. you say, is you'll find that over the years, you've got times where you backslide in your life, yes. Um, yes. you've got times where you're part of a circle of friends mm -hmm. that uh, you'll feel like, mm, I can't really be sort of like, the only Christian one here. Uh, yeah. I can't be the only one who's talking about the God stories. Yeah. So you'll find that, I think this is the challenge that we have as Christians a lot, is we, are, we tend to, mostly I find that as Christians, we tend to adjust ourselves more to the worldly things, if I can say, yeah. the worldly yeah. people around yeah. us, yeah. than we would want worldly people to adjust to, adjust to us. Um, and I'll give you an example. I mean, just yesterday, my wife and I were somewhere where we're in an office and we're filling in some papers and a guy walked in and this guy is just swearing left hand and center, you know, he's not even bothered about the fact that we're sitting there. Yeah. But I was really bothered by it, so I was like, excuse me, sir, <laughs> will you please stop swearing in the presence of my wife? Like, Can you wait for us to leave? Yeah. Yeah. I don't please. find that, you know, then he says to me, yeah, but I'm not a pastor. I was like, I'm not a pastor. I said, it doesn't matter that you're not a yeah. pastor, but try and be a man of integrity. Yes. You know, um, and I think that's what we need to do as Christian yeah. people is let's stand up for who we are and what we really believe in. Yeah. Even though, if, even if we look like the odd people, even if it makes us look like, oh, so you're trying to be all holy. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. It's who I am, yeah. actually. Yeah. You know? yeah. So I think we, 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 we so might like hold back in fear of persecution. Yes, um, but if we look back at the Bible, like if you look at your Peters, mm. your Pauls, all those people, your Stevens, yeah. you know, that's what yeah. they went through. They were yeah. persecuted because they were so passionate about the word. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. It's interesting that you're mentioning Peter because apparently Peter had a problem with swearing and using bad language. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not saying, I mean, that, but that was before he was delivered. <laughs> that's, that's another story. Hallelujah. So you, you, you sort of touched um, on, on this one. So uh, my next question actually was going to be like, how easy or what are the challenges that you face as a, as a Christian person that's trying to live this life? And then you, especially your industry, I don't know yeah. if you want to be industry specific or because, I mean, we, we all do these things. So, yeah. so keeping your faith in the workspace, wherever you go, how easy is that? That is not easy, especially in my line of work in entertainment yeah. as an actor, mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, our industry is marred with a lot of like, you know, drugs and, um, and the cool thing to be is to be the cool kid who does all those oh, things. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and it's not very easy to sort of like get onto a set and um, for example, if you say, right guys, sorry, I just need, I'm just finishing off my prayer yeah, and just need 20 minutes <laughs> yeah, just yeah, yeah. Yeah. pray first before I shoot, you know. Um, yeah. uh, it's not easy. Yeah. Um, but I found that um, if as young people, especially as, as uh, you know, uh, in fact, I shouldn't call myself young, actually. <laughs> as, <laughs> as, as the adults. <laughs> as young adults. Young adults. <laughs> young adults. Yeah. As young adults and, uh, that are born again, you know, it is actually our responsibility and to stand up for what we believe in. Yes. And it's important for us to be all right with the fact that um, this is who I am. I'm sorry. Um, mm. And also not to... And not to be, actually, I shouldn't say I'm sorry, not to be apologetic. Yeah. We shouldn't be apologetic yeah. Christians. Yeah. Um, and we shouldn't be, people think because we're Christians, we're boring. That's a thing. We're not fun. That's a thing. Uh, yeah. If you're born again, you're uptight. Yeah. And it's not that. I'm like one of the most fun people to hang out with. Which is why we, we, we had to have you here. That's why I'm on this show. That's why I'm here. Um, and I love life and I'm full of life. I'm full of energy. Um, and there's never a dull moment around me. And, yes, and, no. <laughs> and I've come to you a point this. where, <laughs> personally, <laughs> I've come to a moment in my life where now, a time in my, in my life where people ask me, what is it about you? You know, you're so full of energy. Yeah. What is it about you? And, and now my answer actually is, it's, it's, it's the God in me. Yeah. It's Jesus Christ. It's, yeah. and people ask you, hey, where do you get this life from? Yeah. Where do you get all of that? I'm like, it's Jesus, you know? Yeah. A lot of the time, sometimes we take credit for ourselves and say, ah, this is who I am, man, you know? Yeah. No, I'm just like that. You know? <laughs> you know, it's, me. Uh, it's me, you know? But I think if we actually start leading with that to say, the reason why I've got so much energy, the reason why I'm so cool, is mm. I'm so fresh, or I'm so dope, is because of Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah someone you know? bigger leads in me. Exactly. Yeah. There's a bigger picture to it. And it's yeah. true, which is true. But it's not easy. Um, um, and I'd like to encourage everybody out there who's in the entertainment industry, even in, in whatever industry you're in. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a Christian and you're born again, lead with that. Yeah. You know, uh, walk in that time. Because I always like to give this example. On a Friday, 
if you go to a shop and it, they've closed and they've gone for prayer yeah. Yeah. and they're Muslims and they're yeah. closed for prayer, yeah. Yeah. you will wait for them for that one hour yes. to do that. Yeah. Even if you're yeah. a Christian and you work for somebody who yeah. is in that yeah. kind of a religion, yeah. you will take that one hour to, to sort of let go, well, my boss is going to pray, might as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so I think as Christians, we should be able to stand up for ourselves to say at the beginning of the day, before I start anything, please note, I just need to spend some time with my creator. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Before you have a meal, don't be shy to pray. I often laugh at people when I'm at a restaurant and, and people are like, let's pray. And they pray. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you know, whereas, what was that? Yeah, you know, whereas I love my family for that. You know, yeah. um, we will hold hands, we will pray out loud, yeah. unashamed of the gospel. Yeah. 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 Wow, that's mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, have you found yourself in a situation where you had to uh, turn down certain roles because of your faith? Um, I've turned out big deals because of my faith. Yeah. <laughs> Even my wife looked at me and said, well, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> are you just going to let this go? <laughs> I, have, I have. I have turned down, um, yeah. I think, some deals. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, roles, is, it's very tricky when it comes to roles because, oh. um, you know, it's a thin line between art and life, if I can put it that way. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. there are roles that I've turned down. There are roles also that I've taken where even now when I look back now, I'm like, hmm, maybe. that was a good idea, yeah, maybe I should have done that, you know. Um, the one thing that always stands out for me is a, is a very big alcohol deal that I was offered, actually, okay, yeah. and I turned it down because for me, I've got children, and I thought to myself, what do I want to represent, uh, and yeah, what, do I, yeah. what do I want people to see me as? The one thing for me that I like to lead a lot with is, I'm a family man, yeah. and I'm a man of integrity, and I love, and I love that. That, that's what I need even if you see on my social pages yeah. you see that most of the, yeah. the things I'm posting is my wife or it's my yeah. kids I've seen yeah. it's not my work I've seen yeah. It. yeah you know and, and, and because th this is priority to me now you know I've sort of like gone through the stages of life I've had the time where I'm like let's hang out with the boys yeah. I've done yeah. that you yeah. know and, and it doesn't interest me the one thing now that I really enjoy is I enjoy time with my family mm. I enjoy time where my wife and I go let's ship the kids off and yeah. you and me yeah that's that's the life that I, I really enjoy that now, you know. Yeah. So um, uh, there are times I've turned down things <laughs> because of what I believe in. Yeah. Yeah. Before, yeah. Oh wow, that's that that is very interesting. I mean, before before we we're gonna be closing soon. So just we we really did in us. That's so rude of us. Maybe people out there don't know which roles that you have taken. I mean, <laughs> the, most recent, the most recent one that I, I can remember is the Abu Mama one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On, on, on yes. And as a Nigerian guy, mm -hmm. and then I've, I've seen, I think you were Tabang that back in the day, Tabang yeah, on yeah, SABC. Yeah, yeah. On one way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's on one way. Yeah. And then I was, I was going through your, your videos on YouTube, and then I saw this interesting one where you were playing this. Um, um, I don't know how to put it where you were. Yeah, it, it was a theatre thingy. Yes. I, I tried to do this uh, Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> so those, the facility, yeah. Yeah, it's very, very versatile. <laughs> let's, let's put it like that. Those yeah. roles are, are very versatile and they're, they're very different. Yeah. What do you enjoy the most, if I may ask? Um, do you enjoy playing the same, similar sort of um, roles or do you mm. like the diversity where you're going to um, act a copier? Actor preacher, yeah. yeah. Actor, um, a street kid, like what, yeah. what? What do you enjoy the most? Um, what I enjoy the most, actually, um, it doesn't matter if the characters are, if, if, so, sort of like, let's say, if I'm a cop in the one show, yeah, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to be a cop in another show, yeah, yeah that really yeah. doesn't matter to me. What, what matters to me is um, the ability to build the different characters and what you bring to different characters mm -hmm. so i've been like now i think i've been playing the bad guy in so many shows movies series yeah um, I've, I've been a bad guy but it's been different kinds of bad guys yeah. ah, okay. yeah. you know, so okay. what i enjoy most uh, i think i would say is the diversity of acting yeah um is is what i bring into the different characters ah. um, because for me uh, you know acting is is becoming the other so, oh, yes. yeah. so in becoming the other, uh, no two people ever walk the same or even scratch their head the same. Mm -hmm. So the ability to sort of like give them those different oh, characteristics yes. and nuances yeah. to say, this one, I'm going to put this in it, I'm going to put that in it, or I'm going to put this accent to it. Oh, yes. you know, yeah. Yeah. That's, that for me is what I really enjoy yeah. um, in those characters. Um, um, and I think... The honest truth is I actually enjoy stage more than I do television. I do. Uh, yeah. it's, just, it's just not as... 
um, pain. Yeah, I think you know, apart from the pain, and also they just that they just aren't enough um, plays mm -hmm. that accommodate sort of like the things that I'm interested in. Oh, There's a lot of musicals, yeah. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. you know, yes. like musicals really need a lot in theatre and stage. Yeah. yeah. Whereas I'm very much a, a performance-driven yes. kind of actor. So, yeah. um, like the play you were talking about, yeah. Askew. Yeah. That was very challenging because it had music in it, it had dance in it. I'm not yeah. the best dancer, I'm not the best singer. <laughs> but I had to learn how to sing and dance for that play. Wow. Yeah. It six weeks to prepare for it. Yeah. And also, apart from that, it's set up in the Kofiki time. This is 1954. Yes. Yeah. So there's a special tongue to it where yes. you're yeah. you mixing like that old Afrikaans mm -hmm. tongue yeah. with sort of like that old school Zulu. Yeah. Yes. Yes. With a bit of that um, sort of like... Oxford English. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I picked yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that was not a walk in the park, but yeah. that is what I love. The ability to actually leave your comfort zone uh -huh. and totally immerse yourself in these yeah. characters. And I think also the one people that enjoy it the most is my family. Yeah. Because every time I'm at home and I'm preparing for a character, yeah. most of the time I walk around in the character. <laughs> I find oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I think my wife must be like, I think <laughs> my wife is not on <laughs> Because exactly, you know, I'm so sure she's like, who is this person? Uh, one last question. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would you give to a person who has, uh, who's very passionate about this dream, but they feel that if they pursue it, it it's going to compromise their relationship with God? So what mm -hmm. advice would you give to that person? Um, in everything you do, you've got to put God first. That's my advice. Mm -hmm. that in everything you do, put God first. Um, and don't let um, sort of like what you don't let what you believe in stand in the way of what your dream is. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you've got to be patient uh, in everything that we do. You know, uh, whether your passion is in if it's acting or singing yeah. Yeah. or anything actually, any industry that you want to be in, mm -hmm. you've got to understand that everything operates in time. There's a season for everything, mm -hmm. um, and you've got to be patient. But also, I think. The one part that we neglect a lot, especially young people these days, is because everybody's so caught up in a microwave lifestyle. Mm. Everybody mm. wants everything mm. now to happen mm. now. Mm. Go and train yourself. Mm. Acquire the skill. Mm. Set, your part, set yourself apart from the rest. Find your lane and run well in it. You know, um, I find that a lot of people sort of like, once you're running in this lane, they often tell athletes that when you're in a race, stay in your lane and keep facing forward yeah i find that a lot of people lately even if you're in your lane you look in this lane and you find wow this guy actually is not wearing the same stuff i'm wearing and suddenly you want to change and wear what he's wearing yeah. but he's not built the same way you're yeah. built That's the thing. you know and maybe he's not even running the race you're running <laughs> <laughs> suddenly you've changed yourself to yeah. run a race that you're not equipped for or that mm. you're not fit for mm. yeah and you find yourself lagging behind and and, and you know life is is passing you by so Find, you know, find what it is that you really love, train yourself in it, get you know it really, really well, mm -hmm. get in your lane and focus, stay focused, stay forward, focus and look where you're going and run with it, you know, um, and let God lead you. Yeah, wow. you, know, God lead you. Wow. Can you guys now understand why we had to have this yeah. man? <laughs> I mean, these are the conversations, it's not even because we're on, we're on camera. Those are the conversations that we always have with him. He always has wisdom. He's funny. <laughs> he, he brings in different characters. <laughs> Even with us, what about we need to imagine? So, I mean, Mr. LG, thank you so much, man, for joining us. We really appreciate this. We understand that you are a very busy man, family man. Even now, I mean, your wife didn't want to leave you here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure they wrap up now. <laughs> but then we, we really had to have you here. And I think one thing that we can ask of you as well, because we, we are here and we, we need to put it on camera that you're going to audit our our channel and then you're gonna be our coach yeah every once a month you're gonna give us a report yeah and then you're gonna tell us where to improve Absolutely. and what to work I'm, on I'm, I'm gonna be the new auditor of, <laughs> of this show guys so hopefully after this it only gets better <laughs> thank you so all right much. thank you so much guys thank if you, guys. you like this video please you know what to do like subscribe and and share with your friends don't forget that notification bell because as he said it's gonna be lit guys it's getting <laughs> litier yeah. from here <laughs> so right. bye